I was thinking to don't make another video to finish it back, you know, the part 9.1. But okay, let's move on. I bring out the connecting rods, the two connecting rods that I get inside of the engine room. You can even put it like this. You can shake it even like that. Not that bent, fine. I hope that you understand what I'm showing here, what I mean, all right? And in total, we have bent, uh, five bent connectors, all right? You see that on this piston, it's clean, it does have a carbon. If I flip it, there is so much carbon. On this piston, you see that it touches on the cylinder wall, this touches on the cylinder wall, this one touching on the cylinder wall, and this one. So you have five out of eight. And these three that I have here, it might be bent, it might not, but by just watching the pistons, you see that it's okay. It didn't came near to the cylinder wall, since it has, since it has equal carbon all the way around. Fine. So, this will gonna answer to the question why was burning one liter of oil every thousand kilometers. That's the reason why. Then, uh, I have shown you before when I was when I'm putting a crankshaft inside in place. When I'm putting assembly grease and high viscosity lubricant, it doesn't spin freely. It, it, it doesn't spin like that. If I put, let us say, 0W20 or 5W30 oil, it will gonna spin like this. Okay? It's the same. It's the same. Now, like I said, crankshaft, need to go for polishing, need to get the measurements before and after to see that everything is fine. Let's continue. Let's remove the crankshaft rear seal and the bearing caps. To strip it off completely, this go for scrap. Fine. What we have healthy here looks like that the crankshaft will be healthy. The block will be able to reuse it. It's gonna be fine. I don't see corrosion or something, or uh, any heat or any broken piece or something. It's fine. Engine block, crankshaft, cylinder heads. I have to check the guides. The valves, forget it. All of them. <laughs> All right. Valve springs need to be checked to see that's okay. Need a check valve, need a new tensioners, new timing chain, new oil pump, obviously. Fuel injectors at 200,000 kilometers, I cannot trust them. The same thing also for the high pressure pumps. Turbochargers need to be washed to see if there is any crack on the housing back, like I said. This, the shaft, it, it moves, all right. Front, the compressor wheel looks fine. Uh, camshafts looks excellent, other than the one, only this one that has some marks here. And four cam adjusters going for scrap. Intermittent gear, this one, scrap. This, scrap, because we're gonna use it. Guides for scrap. The valve from the vacuum pump will gonna be gone, definitely. Water pump, forget it, it's a water pump. Oil filter housing, yes, but the thermostat cap with the thermostat need to be replaced. So, hydraulic lifters, as it is, scrap. <laughs> you are not using it. Include also the tensioners over there, if I don't mention earlier. Heater uh, exchanger, oil heat exchanger, scrap. Gaskets, bolts, and a couple of other stuff, also for scrap. The rubber coupler. Intercooler need to make a leak test. Intake manifold need to make a leak test to see that it's okay. If you don't have any crack. Usually the intercoolers are suffering the intake manifolds not that much, but you never know when will gonna come the time, right, to see the failure. So that's it pretty much. Let's let me open also the crankshaft, remove it, and then I'm gonna show you how it looks like. Uh, you remember also why I'm saying all the time check the oil jets and to see if interfering with the pistons. If let us say while you're opening the pistons of the connections you're taking it out, if you hit any of them, I didn't hit any. Never. But I'm just saying, we're humans. Maybe you're gonna hit one, you're not gonna pay attention, and you're gonna be bent, for example. That's why I'm saying all the time, even on the stock application, check if, it, if it's interfering the jet. It's not bad, you know? Let's move on. As expected, the old design outer bolts. You can put the new one that's longer and it's better than this, than the old one, all right? Obviously, I'm putting the new one, not the old one. Uh, what I wanna say now, ah, the surprise will gonna be if you said to me that this engine was not burning oil, because if this engine was not burning oil, let us say, it will gonna be one reason why to don't burn oil, because you're not gonna have an oil inside to burn. <laughs> Only that's the reason. All right. Moving on. What else? I was willing to say something, but I forget it. No worries. Anyhow, moving on. 
And that's how it looks like when it's been stripped off complete. Nothing new here. This bearing is stuck on the crankshaft. That's why it's not here, probably. Not probably. 99.9%, yeah. Come on now, I wash my hands in the petrol again. All right, that's the lower bearings. Yeah, all right, it is what it is. Thrust washer, the lower, thrust washer, upper. It's full of oil, you cannot see nothing. Yeah, 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 scoring on the cylinders, classic. The cylinders are the soft cylinders like a butter. Where are you going, Mr. Omar? Wait, 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 we're gonna have a test now. I'm gonna give you these two connecting rods. Tell me if they're straight or not. You have seen how it is. Use your mind. No tools or nothing. Get these two connectors on your hand and tell me if they're bent or not. This is a bent hand. By eye, my ass. No, bro, look no, like it. No, no. Hey, you see? I'm giving you these two, all right? Mm -hmm. You put it one on top of the side. Fine. All right? So, when you see that from one side, it makes this movement. You see that? Yeah. And then you make it from the other side. And it doesn't. And you see that it has more space there. That means one of these two, or both of them, they're bent. All right? So this is a rough measurement. This is not a measurement. This is something fast to see. Is it worth it to spend my time with this connecting rod? Let us say yes or not. No. Uh, even if you put it on this table that they're not straight, it's not straight the table, and you make like this, uh, you see that something's yeah. really wrong, you know? Okay, that's it. Don't make me huge the video. I have different things to do today. Uh, over and out, thank you very much. I hope that we're gonna finish the S63 today. You're gonna come, the electrician, to the make the... Call him to finalize the car. I don't want to stay here for a month, for no reason. All right. But again, the one liter per thousand kilometers, it was acceptable for this, <laughs> for this condition. It was fine. Uh, the valves that they hit on the pistons, it is uh, normal because the timing chain was stretched so much, that much, that need to be changed, let's say the timing chain was probably 60,000 kilometers ago before it reached. Like I said, it's going to be very interesting to make comparison 281,000 kilometers, 280, Omar, the E63 formatic, it was 280 or 285,000 kilometers. 280 to 284. Yeah. All right. I want to compare this timing chain that has a new design timing chain with this one that has 201,000 kilometers. It's going to be interesting. You're going to see that. If you have an old timing chain, again, be careful. That's it. Thank you. Have a nice day.